Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I definitely appreciate your support. So let's just face it, when you first start stacking silver, it could be overwhelming because you have so many different choices out there in the marketplace, you don't know where to begin. I mean, really, when you look online, there's a plethora of different options of what you could buy. You could buy bars, silver rounds, silver coins, junk silver, fractional silver. So there's a lot of different options. And when I first started stacking silver, it took me a while to make my first purchase because I didn't know what to buy. And so thankfully there's YouTube and a ton of great videos of what you should start buying, especially if you're new to the stacking world. And this is such a great community that everyone's willing to help with comments. They make great videos. So I wanted to make a video on three must haves that new stackers should definitely be buying. So my first go-to would be an American Silver Eagle. Most stackers in the United States by American Silver Eagles. But if you're new to stacking, you might not know that an American Silver Eagle is backed by the United States government. So worst case scenario, if silver dropped to zero and spot price went from $16.80 down to zero tomorrow, your American Silver Eagle would be worth at least $1. And so American Silver Eagles are rarely counterfeited because it's backed by the United States government. Heavy penalties and jail time is going to be uh, waiting for you if you start counterfeiting American Silver Eagles. So most people don't, you know, obviously counterfeit American Silver Eagles. So most stackers don't really worry about if their American Silver Eagles are counterfeited, but you still want to buy from a trusted source. So American Silver Eagles are also the most recognizable coin in the world. It's super easy to sell. If you want to make sure that you can sell your stack down the road, buy American Silver Eagles. Because as you're seeing today, you can buy American Silver Eagles anywhere from $22 up to $28. And people are buying them left and right. And so if you get into a situation where you're forced to sell your silver and you decide you want to sell your American Silver Eagles, you would sell them very fast and not have any issues whatsoever getting rid of them. So my second must have is gonna be your 90% junk silver or constitutional silver. I think it's a great way to add fractional silver to your stack without paying the fractional price. A lot of times you can see on Instagram or some online bullion dealer, see a lot of people selling fractional silver, quarter ounce piece of silver or half ounce piece of silver. And typically those are a little bit more expensive than you know just buying junk silver junk silver will definitely help lower your cost average so it takes a dollar 40 face value of junk silver to equal out one ounce of silver and so right now the average that i'm seeing in the marketplace is 13 dollars and 50 cents face value which equivalents out to 18 dollars and 90 cents per ounce and you're probably wondering how in the heck did you come up with that number? So like I said, it takes a dollar forty worth of 90% junk silver to equivalent out to one troy ounce. All you gotta do is take $13.50 times a dollar forty, and that gives you the eighteen dollars and ninety cents per ounce. It would definitely help lower your cost average down to your stack. And so another reason why I like to buy junk silver, it's super easy to sell. Most coin dealers will definitely know what junk silver is because it's super easy, especially if you're talking about dimes, quarters, and half dollars. It's any of those three that are pre-1965. And most people just in general know that. So my folks definitely are not stackers. They don't collect any silver or gold whatsoever, but they would go through their change to make sure they didn't have any 90% junk silver. If they did, they would just throw it in a can and keep it. So my third must have is gonna have to be generic silver rounds. Um, I definitely buy a ton of generic silver rounds, um, as you can tell. And so one of the biggest reasons why I like to buy them are that usually you know when everything's said and done you can actually get generic rounds close to spot uh, before this you know worldwide pandemic and the shortage of silver i was buying generic rounds for anywhere from 20 cents 
to 75 cents above spot, which allows you to add, you know, a bunch of weight to your stack for fairly cheap. And so another reason why I like generics are typically they're easy to sell. But I do have to warn you, they're not as easy as selling junk silver and definitely not as easy as selling American silver eagles. Most coin shops definitely buy generic rounds and typically they'll buy them at 50 cents below spot. And, you know, I recommend buying the common generics, you know, your your buffaloes, your Inglehards, your Silvertowns, stuff like that, you know, just super common generic rounds. So if you're a new stacker, I definitely would recommend trying to stack on some weight or get some weight before you branch out into the higher premium items and definitely load up on American Silver Eagles, Junk Silver, and Generic Silver Round. And so once you get to a decent amount of weight in your stack, then you should probably go add some higher premium items and it's not really going to affect the cost average of your stack if you're buying everything right. So what do you think the top three items you should be stacking? Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are and if you're a new stacker if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and thanks for your support by the way before i forget make sure you watch my giveaway video i'll link the video in the description and i'm giving away on may 24th a 2020 american silver eagle and a 1994 mexican libertad